When you hear the word resourcefulness, uh, you think of people who might be in unfortunate circumstances. They could be poor, they could be unlucky. They have their backs against the wall. And when you have your backs against the wall, that brings out creativity, right? There's that expression that necessity is the mother of all invention. And that's one aspect of stretching. But I have a more pressing challenge I want to raise for you this evening. For those of us who find ourselves in more fortunate circumstances, where we don't need to stretch out of necessity, do we have the courage to recognize that we often have more than we realize and more than we need to achieve our goals? Do we have the wherewithal to recognize that we tend to underestimate the versatility of our resources? And if we can begin to answer these questions in ways that recognize we often have more than enough and what's around us is much more flexible than we realize, we can begin to embrace the power of stretching. So let me provide you with a framework to understand these two very different ways about thinking about work and our life. When we are stretching, we believe that any resource is changeable. You want to get a nail into the wall to hang a picture, you don't give it second thought. You grab your shoe because that's what's available and you get that nail into the wall. When you're chasing, you've got to find the hammer, you've got to find the perfect tool for every situation. Even if it comes at this exhaustion of looking in the garage, going to the store and getting something, because you can't see the possibilities of the resources right in front of you. When you're stretching, it's all about expanding. How do you expand the value of what you already have? As opposed to acquiring, we acquire so many resources that we necessarily don't need towards our goals. And the big driver of this is what psychologists call social comparisons. We look at our neighbors, we look at our colleagues, and we think we need those same things in order to be successful and to be satisfied. Our office seems perfectly adequate. It seems great, actually, until we look at someone who might have a slightly bigger office, or a slightly bigger budget, or a nicer job title, or a bigger home. So our goals get displaced when we're stretching because we're thinking about what other people have and believing we need those same things in order to be successful. As a result, we burn out because we never can win that race because there's always going to be someone who has more. So our motivation with stretching is to have an honest conversation and ask, what are our goals? For most people, I would argue our goals are not to acquire more stuff. Resources are tools. They tend to be instrumental towards helping us reach goals. But when we're chasing, those goals get displaced because of these comparisons. And acquiring more not only becomes our new goals, they become a way of life that blinds us to the possibilities of what's right in front of us.